Black Hole for Bad Bots is a plugin by Jeff Starr and it allows you to essentially remove bad bot traffic from your website using a simple plugin with a simple piece of code in your robots.txt file. And recently, this plugin saved my hosting account and my life from extra stress because bad bots were hammering my website. They're using all my CPU time, they're using all my bandwidth, they're using all the server resources, and my host SiteGround was not happy with that because I'm on a shared hosting account with them and so I had to fix the problem. And this is the plugin that fixed the bad bot traffic and I'm gonna show you how I did it and how it works and we're starting right now. Hey, what's up? My name is Bjorn. Welcome back to another video. If it's your first time here and you like WordPress tips and tricks and getting better at it, make sure you click subscribe and the bell notification icon so you don't miss any videos. And make sure you check out the Facebook group linked to in the description down below so we can all help each other get better at WordPress and create great things. And with that out of the way, let's check out the screen capture. I'll see you there. So here we have a side-by-side -side comparison of my SiteGround hosting account stats. One on the left is from today, December 2nd, 2018. The one on the right is from November 21st, 2018, so about two weeks ago. And we can see in November, I was maxing out my CPU usage and my account executions. And when you do that for too long, your host gets mad and you have to take steps to fix it or they shut down your account. The amount of data my account was transferring every month was almost 10 gigabytes in November. And now it's down to 500 or under, under 500, 460. And my CPU time and account executions are way below the levels they were in November. And there's two reasons this can happen. One is you get an insane amount of traffic, real legit traffic, and your hosting account is just not powerful enough for the traffic you need. So you have to upgrade your hosting account that allows more CPU time, more account executions, because you have legit traffic and you need to have more resources. The other way, the way that affected my site and a lot of other people's is a bad bot or a set of bad bots that are ignoring the rules in your robots.txt file and they're just running wild on your website and causing massive amounts of CPU time and account executions. The way I fixed this was really simple. I installed this plugin, Black Hole for Bad Bots by Jeff Starr. Jeff has a bunch of other great plugins and this one did the trick for what I'm gonna show you now. But all you have to do is you install this plugin. I already have it running, so I'm just gonna show you where I have it. If you go into plugins and then add new, search for black hole for bad bots, and it is neither of those. Try black hole is one word, there it is. Black hole for bad bots, it's currently active because I have it installed. You would probably see an install button here, then you install it, you can activate it, and then you have it in your plugins list, like I have it right here. And then all you have to do, if I open up my own robots file, just have to add some text. So all we have to do after the plug is installed is make sure these two lines are in a robots.txt file. You can have others as well, but these two must be there for the plugin to work. And essentially what it's doing is it's telling bots to not access this URL. And if they do access it, then they go into the black hole for bad bots. And then that bot is then blocked. If you don't have a robots.txt file and you don't really know what it is, I'll show you how to make one in just a minute. But first, let's look at some simple settings that this plugin has. Go to black hole and then settings. And here it has this code again that you can just copy and paste from there. You can be emailed alerts if you want alerts of when a bot is blocked. And here's the message to display when a bad bot is triggered. I just put them into the void, which displays an empty page with a black background. But you can have something customized. These were whitelisted by the plugin itself, so I didn't add these in. These are also whitelisted by the plugin. And then that's really all you have to set for the free version. Click on save changes if you change anything. And if you don't have a robots.txt file, just head into your server, open up file manager. And the robots.txt file exists in the root of the website. Mine is right here. I'm just gonna rename this to robots2. So if you wanna make a robots.txt file, just click on add new file. Call it robots.txt. Come back to our plugin, copy this information. Click on the robots.txt, click on edit. Paste in those commands. 
Click on Save. And now my set will have a new robots file, which looks just like that. And that's how we add those commands to the robots file. And now we should be detecting and blocking bad robots and hopefully saving you a lot of server resources. Another quick thing I want to show you, there's something called AW stats. That's uh, most cPanel hosts. Here's mine right here. I just press Control F and search for AW stats. Let's open that. Pick the website we want to open it for. And here is site access logs, essentially. And you can see how big these site access logs are for September, October, November. December, they're down to really nothing compared to the other ones. And that is the bad bot traffic. Everything above this is all bad bots, just serving user resources and causing problems with myself and my hosting provider and other people on that shared hosting account. So it's really important to keep this under control. And the Black Hole for Bad Bots plugin is one great way to do that. There's also a pro version, which I'm probably gonna buy because the free one's been so awesome. And there's a link in the description down below if you wanna check out the pro. I've got a 10% discount. There's a code there as well they have to use beside the link. So just use that, get a 10% discount on the pro version and start getting back your server resources. So that's how it works. I hope this video helps you. If you haven't done so yet, make sure you click subscribe, then the bell notification icon so you don't miss anything. Make sure you check out the prior Facebook group, a link to in the description down below. And next up is clicking one of these videos that popped up on the right hand side so you can get even better at WordPress. And until next time, keep crushing it and I will see you in the next video.